So this is part of the reason why I don't like having to use an outside thing for my um my microphone uh rather an outside USB thingy just because like all right hold on let me switch over to the sim so we can actually start playing and let me roll up our first aesthetic we will roll up one uh, let's roll up like one aesthetic to start with we got moss core and our three colors for moss core are gray uh bird flower yellow and pink flamingo which is the hottest of hot picks so this will be interesting so moss core um when i think of moss core i think like um what's the word let me make sure that this is actually oh yeah Okay, cool. I just wanted to make sure it was showing up on Twitch. Uh, do, 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 do. Um, so, God willing, I got rid of all of the adult shit. We'll see. Um, oh, all right. Hooray. So, I happen to be from an extremely mossy area. We like to make jokes that, uh, the moss on the the moss on the ah oh, fuck it that's where i'm from not where i'm am uh the moss on the olympic peninsula doesn't grow uh on the north side of the tree it grows mm -hmm. on the north side the south side the east and west side rocks hmm. uh prefab steel buildings vehicles you if you stay still long enough so hmm. i'm gonna go for a northwest vibe because when i think of moss i think of two uh -huh. things someone who is really not moving much so i'm thinking we gotta go lazy for this one and someone who you know, they, they like get into stuff. Um, not like into it, but like they're the sort of person that grabs things. Hmm. Like they get really into hobbies and like completely invade the hmm. uh, hobby space for whatever they're doing. Do I have music turned off? Uh, da, 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 da. Yes, I do. I'll keep it turned down though. Let's make okay. Uh, okay. And um and like they're kinda clicky to people. Maybe they're uh maybe they're jealous. Uh and normally I would associate mo moss with green, but uh we got yellow and hot pink and grey, so uh we'll try to work with it. Um, but yellow, the, the yellow we got is a rather autumnal color, which is kind of what I associate with moss. Oh, I forgot to let one person know what's going on. Let's see. Anyway, um, so... For a moss person, oh. I don't know. Pranking doesn't seem a mossy vibe, so oh, let's. War so okay, let me. So uh, what we had was moss core, I think it was. So which is like getting in, like it's moss, and we're getting into the the heart of it. Like, they're not obsessed with moss. It's not like their entire thing. They're not exaggerated moss people. God fucking damn it. It reopened all of them. Uh, 
but like they're like getting to the heart of what moss is uh fuck no they don't go to the gym <gasps> meditation v is oh yeah they a moss person would be very into meditation i feel like oh. Uh, whatever my neighbors are up to is worth finding out. Definitely my business, actually. Nothing I would even begin to care about. Mm -hmm. Well, they are clingy. Like, Moss is clingy. So, if maybe, like, maybe not neighbors, but for sure friends. If, if, if friends are showing signs of something weird, that I feel like Moss wouldn't even begin to care about what the neighbors are up to. Oh. Mitzel. What kind of home would Moss want to live in? Hmm. Honestly, I don't think it matters to them, but... Moss doesn't say luxury to me. They are basically, uh, Moss is basically, like, a colony, I think. So, maybe a family-friendly home. Oh, uh, yes! How much do, uh, Moss's roots matter to them? Does Moss have roots? Hold on. <laughs> I have to look up Moss etymology here. Or, Moss... Herbal? No, that's Harry Potter. Which, you know, no thank you. <laughs> Does moss have roots? Unlike most other plants, mosses don't have roots. They have rhizoids, which are small, hair-like structures. Fascinating. Okay. So they don't give a shit about their roots. Oops. Uh, I should probably should close that. Good to know. That wasn't what I wanted to do either. I need an I need my aesthetics generator. It went away. Or maybe it's in another. No, I don't need the master list. I need the generator. We we don't we don't want anything normal here. Um, I'm using the one on perchance. Turns out that there is actually uh, there's another one. Um. However, this one doesn't involve colors, so we're going to stick with the perchance one, which means moss core. Uh, so, gray, green, and yellow moss core. And moss does not have roots. So, fuck roots. My, my, my moss does not care about its roots because it does not have them. Oh. Uh. Last like, we're going time. hard on this. Alright. Being a good tenant... Uh, fuck landlords? <laughs> I like how they're all, like, trying to be... Like, all of the... Like, 90% of these answers are, like, pro-landlord. Which is... Fuck that. <laughs> I guess I'll go if it doesn't matter if you're the one in charge. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Obelana. Okay, the best way for Moss to relax. We want something that'll that's not active. And we'll let them stay in a place for a long ass time, so I'm thinking book. Oh, Come the big game up. is tonight. What do I do? Fuck it. 
Oh. What defines success? Oh. Having many friends, being rich, bettering the world. Uh, I don't think oh. Moss really cares about any of those, but I guess I wouldn't mind having more resources to grow, which would be the Moss equivalent of being rich, I guess? All right. Our moss is uh, lazy, good, and a loner. All right. And they want to be a best-selling author. That's cool. We can do that. They're unemployed and they have skill in wellness and logic. All right. So, we're gonna go, we're gonna go full moss here, and if we're going to be moss, I think green hair is the way to go, and definitely an earthy tone skin like this. I guess what I would go for is, let's see, I should look up different species of moss and see if there's like a cool way they can look. We are going for moss core, after all. This isn't just any moss. No, no, not just species. I need ma... No. Moss species. An interesting one. Interesting moss species. We got sheet moss, hypnum impotens. Log moss or feather moss. So, now let's look up weird moss species. Like, moss is a weird plant fucking anyway, but hmm, this one has little, like, white crumpety things on it. So that's kind of interesting. We could work with that. We could make them hot pink trumpety things. So, white cushion moss. I, I'm just going for the first few, I see. Burned ground moss. So that's interesting. It's sort of brownish and has little ten red tendrils coming off it. Brownish, greenish. It has kind of that yellow. Oh, this is the we could work with this. I don't think any of the Sims hairs have that kind of tendrilly look. Um uh cord moss is also sort of greenish, yellowish, and bright red. So, I think we have a good idea of what, what to do. So, pink is pretty close to red, don't you think? So, we could use that tenderly. So, okay. We're going to give her a bit of a uh, warm undertone because uh, of the aesthetic. Um, the aesthetic color is somewhere along these lines. Um, I don't really see any need to change your face at all except maybe to add some eyelashes. Um, so, the moss that I'm dealing with is kind of tenderly, so I want to see if I can get, like, some really thin eyebrows. Oh, and I might have the eyebrows be red so that we get that, yeah, tenderly moss. Okay, so, and our other color is kind of a yellow, ooh, 
That gets the yellow and the hot pink. Ooh, that's pretty good. I'm gonna. I, I'm trying to go through blondes and see if any of them come with a reddish. Well, this is blonde. This is reddish with blonde. That's kind of close. I really wish this green came with an alternate color because that would be nice. That's not quite what our moss looks like. So, like, this is what I'm kind of looking at right now. Let me see if we can do something. Ooh, that has tenderliness to it. Are any of the, do they, any of these have red at the bottom? Mm. That's a little tenderly. That's just green. Bugger. Well, like, I'll go, I'll go green if I end up having to, you know what I mean? We'll see what, how it turns out. Um, this could work. The green's just a rainbow. While I appreciate that. Gotta dig the representation, but not quite what we're going for with this aesthetic. We're going, we're going moss core. We're going hard on moss core. So honestly, we might as well just do green. I'll let the, uh, Because it was a green that came with different colors. So I'll let her, uh... Um... I'll let the, the green be, uh... I don't know. Let's see what else we have real quick. Like, I think this is gonna have to be a dyed hair. I, I don't see any other way we could do this. Oh, that is way cute. Oh, it almost, like, it almost, there, there's almost a vibe, like, <laughs> ma, like, moss grew on her hair because of the color, not because of the texture. So, I could work. Yeah, I've realized quite quickly that, like, I'm, I super do not want to come across racist, you know? Oh man, that would be an amazing mermaid look. We'll do mermaid eventually. <laughs> I was kind of a yellow and green kind of moss vibe to it and we have the red tendrils with her little eye with her skinny eyebrows I won't let anyone talk shit about that you look fine if you have thin eyebrows you look great in fact so Dang it. We still have to incorporate our colors. Ooh, the gold with the eyes is really cool. Ooh, that's even cooler. Yeah, we'll go with that. Um... Let's see. Uh, now we find out if we, uh, fucked up the, um, 
Now we find out if we fucked up install uh, removing all the uh, mods. Oh, thank God! Woo! That could have been so bad. Okay. So, we've got cute hair, we've got good eyebrows for the what, what we're going for. Um, oh, that had, had has little flowers embroidered on it, that could be fun. Like, I'm 80% sure that... That's not hot pink enough. Like, I'm 80% sure we got rid of all of our... I got rid of all of my, uh... Uh... Other... Ooh, that's pretty mossy. That's nice. Oh, and that incorporates the green and the hot pink! Oh, it's so perfect! I love it! Okay, that gives us a great start. Oh, she's so pretty. Oh my god, look at her. She's so pretty. Alright. Let's... You know, y'all, I really can't wait until I get my new computer in. It's gonna look so much better. Alright. Yeah, brown for the eyeliner. Like, it's subtle and it also looks very pretty. Might go for some of that hot pink on the eyes. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. Let's get down to where some colored stuff is. There we go. Surprisingly, not the worst look I've seen. Yeah, we'll hit there. I sometimes use those lipsticks when it's like a uh, clear color that could really uh, on the other hand like hmm. ooh we could work the yellow into this The, uh, the, the yellow I'm using isn't too bright. I might have this as her party look. Because I do like this. I'm just gonna save that real quick. Uh, and we'll have this be the, her, more like her regular look. Oh, this needs to be dialed back so much. She's so pretty. Oh. All right. Uh, so, Moss Vibe Clothes is the next. Man, there is just nobody at the stream. It is only me. Uh, oh well, that's okay. Huh. More people may join eventually.
that we have yet to incorporate the gray into our look. Supposedly, I have no new clothing, but I have no idea where it is. Ooh. Moss is like an, a really interesting concept oh. to have to use. And there just aren't a lot of gray shirts. There are a lot of white, but not a lot of gray. I guess people think that most people wouldn't want gray. I don't know. That's pretty cute. That's more white than gray to me. Because, like, all of the gray swatches are white. It's really annoying, actually. Ooh. That's interesting, and it has kind of a uh, plantish motif. Like that's that's one of the things I'm going to go for with this. It's like plantish, but not green, because green is <laughs> one of the colors. Like we'll have hints of green, like we have up in our hair. Ooh, her head scarf, I guess. Um. The nice thing is it has some uh, kind of off-white, so it's not horrible if I have to use it, if I have to use a uh, off-white like that. That does have the look of someone who'd be in the, working in the dirt. He has gloves for gardening, you know. It's so weird to me that those squishmallows have become a collector's item. Like, it reminds me of Beanie Babies back in the day, and I, like, I Ooh. barely brushed against that fad. Oh, hey, that's pretty good. Look, we're trying to keep in theme. And I'm, real, I'm really trying to uh, make a look that looks decent, but, like... Oh, hey, that include that works in both of our col colors. Oh, God, that is bright. Oof. Like getting smacked in the face with pink. Kind of works, though. Let's see what else we have. Oof. That is also bright. The point is... Ugh, trying to work in a moss aesthetic that involves gray is really... Like, at least it and yellow are earth tones. I have to work in the uh, hot pink somewhere. And it's like, where, what do you even do with that? Oh, that's pretty good. I wish I could, like, mark these as maybe or something. <laughs> but that is pretty good. So... Yeah, we we may be able to do this. Oh, that's pretty mossy, isn't it? Oh, that really is, though. Like, if there's one that can... Eh. Dang it. I really want to go for, like, an outdoorsy vibe. Someone who, who who looks like they'll be out there working with Moss. We may end up going cottage core on this one, guys. Oh, that's pretty cute. 
We even have like little plants on it. what that color swatch says to me. What the fuck? Like, I don't want to work in the hot pink super hard. Ooh. It doesn't look outdoorsy, but it's really good. And I think it had, yeah, pink buttons. It's pretty close to the ideal. That does not look like someone who works in the outdoors. This kind of does, so. Oof, no, that is too, too intense. Like, hmm. that is not too intense, ironically. <laughs> what the hell did I download? As I'm over here sitting, as I'm over sitting here trying to figure out what the hell I did to, the, to my game. That's very glittery. Oh my goodness. No. Moss is not glittery. There's nothing glittery about moss. Hmm. A little bit too blue-green. Well, that's kind of good. Oh. And it works in the gray. It is a little faded for what we're doing here, but no. Oh, you want to bet there's going to be some ranch shit that's really, uh, that's really earth Tony and moss vibing? I bet there is. Oh, that's pretty cute. I like that chef's out. I like that chef's coat. That matches her hat really well. I keep calling it a hat. It's not a hat. <laughs> Jesus. I am scrolling down slowly because I don't remember what all I transferred. Oh, thank God. I think I might have transferred... I transferred all the loot stuff. Yay! Alright, let's... Let's narrow it down to what I suspect we're going to see. The most earth tones in terms of packs. Horse Ranch. Uh... And Cottage mm -hmm. Living. Uh, I guess we could go for, uh... A full body outfit. I feel like there just wasn't much over there. Uh -huh, mm. Let's see what we can find that'll work both with our gray and our. Oh god, that's it's so like oof. That's that's a rough one. No. No. I mean, ish, but no. Well, that vibes, Moss. If only that was pink. Be perfectly uh, reasonable for this. That's kind of cute. This does have a very mossy vibe. She's not a shopkeeper, but it's got a mossy vibe. I don't know if I can say I'm a fan of that. I'm <laughs> definitely not a fan of that. Ooh, this may be our baby. Ooh, it works in two out of three colors. It's earth-toned. 
Oh, this one's kind of gray, isn't it? It's not really the yellow we're going. Like, ugh, I really like that. I, I'll have to work. Like, I kind of want to use it. I'll have to work in some. Uh... Mm -hmm. Oh, that's adorable, and it works in the gray. That's pretty good. That works. Oh, it's perfect. It has all three colors. Mm. Yes! I guess it doesn't matter if I have my burrito since I'm the only person here. Fuck it. Hello? Is it playing Christmas music? That sounds awfully winter. Huh. Ooh, that's really cute. I like this one better, but I like that a lot for this. Oh, well, just so you don't agonize the anxiety about it, you know it's a They're disgusting Monday. They're fine. Hmm. Oh, that's pretty nice, too. Hmm. Alright, we're gonna go with this, definitely, for and for sure. Um... Hey, Chunks, how's it going? You're the only person here right now, aside from me. Oh, I might do something weird to get the pink in here. Well, <clears throat> I'm gonna get the pink in with the accessories, so. And makeup. So basically what I'm doing is I'm... <clears throat> ah, cool. I'm... I'm using an aesthetic generator to uh, create different looks for my sims. So in this case, uh, this is, what's the word? This is moss core. So Straight shot to a drain. Uh, something's going on. That is cute jewelry. I, I quite like that, actually. Uh... But yeah, Moss Court, like, my first thought was Pacific Northwest. And the random colors I got for it, of all things, were gray, hot pink, and the kind of yellow color you see in a few places on her outfit. I'm doing my best, man! <laughs> like, it is not a great set of uh, requirements to work with. Of course, you can't see any uh, bracelet on her, so that's pointless. Ooh. I have to wonder if this girl, like, works out, like, she's lazy and, but she likes working outside. So I guess that's a thing. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm trying to remember if I have anything upsetting in my downloads still I shouldn't. Oh god, that's so hot pink. I hate it. Oh, I can't. 
I can't do it. Oh, it's so bad. Incorporating this hot pink is so hard. Like, it really, really is. It's so bad. Maybe... Maybe, like, a ring? There's not a lot of rings with, like, actual hot pink, though. This one does. That that's the only thing I can do with this character. Oh my god. At least that can be gray. Ugh. Ooh, I can turn her nails pink. That'll do. That'll do the job. That's that's not. Why do they have a lot of purples, but not a lot of hot pinks? Yeah, sure, she'll be by. That works. It incorporates two of the colors, so apparently Moss is by. Lucky? Uh, uh, that's not so bad. That one's a little better. It's a little more mellow of a pink, so it works better. A little more mellow of a pink. But nothing wrong with pink. Pinky pink pink. I swear, if I say pink anymore, I'm going to, uh, it's get the word's gonna lose all meaning. Huh. Oof, no. Mm -hmm. That's pretty all right. <sighs> this does feel like the sort of outfit you'd want to wear uh, leggings or something under, you know? Ugh, now she just looks like she's from fucking Candyland. And those are cats. Those are a lot of cats. <laughs> I guess they reduce the impact of the pink. So that's something. Eh, no, no, no. No, no. Nope, nope. Nope. Those are figure skating uh, tights. Hmm. I have no idea how I'm gonna do this. Like, it's so specific. You know, I wish it was a pur I wish it was purple, but that is not our lot. Ugh. Uh, you know. Oh, that's kind of cute. That kind of makes it work. Yeah, that makes it. That pulls things together. I, I think that's alright. Um. Man, it's. Oh, it's hard. Maybe gray? Mm hmm. Those look like swim trunks. Oh, those work. Like old bike shorts, and then we can put on some maybe socks that are like hot pink under the. God, no. 
Why is it like this? Oh my god. We did it. We cracked the code. Oh, thank goodness. All right. Like, there are a lot of interesting options. And I think this is... All right, see you later. I was kind of hoping uh, for a little more in, from a sim stream, but eh. yeah, I'll be winners. That's okay. A bit of idle desk cleaning while I'm over here. Alright. Honestly, this is fun, but I kind of want to move on, move in, along with Dave the Diver, so hold on a quick second. I am going to switch games. You can probably hear me doing it. Let me head to the stream manager. We'll switch over to Dave the Diver because I might like do the aesthetic thing at some point, like when I feel like it. Oh, fuck me. God damn it. I keep... I keep... <laughs> I keep trying... Because my phone is, like, up where I can see it, I keep trying to type in to my keyboard. Because my brain's, like... Phone is up. Must be screen attached to computer. Anyway, I feel like vibing with Dave. So. Dave's a cool guy. Um, I forget what I was doing last with Dave the Diver. That God damn it, I did it again. Uh, I think we were about, we were going to get into the Sea People Village soon. Uh, just saying the village shouldn't be too much. Of... Okay. Uh, you know what another great game is? Uh, Slay the Princess. That's a fucking good game. I genuinely love everything about it. Like, I've played it multiple times at this point, and I'm just like, ugh, I'm in love. It's such a good game. Just letting my friend know I'm gonna- I'm about to dave some divers. <clears throat> because I know he's not doing too great. 
and I want to help. <laughs> and my steam is being a bitch. Oh yeah, I might have less time to stream coming up soon. Uh, just because, uh, no, no, Dave the Diver, not Arcade Paradise, though I also enjoy that one. I might switch to it later. I don't know. Ooh, three million copies of uh, Dave the Diver of Sound Glow have uh, sold globally. Blah, 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 blah. I hope that means we're going to get cool stuff to celebrate. That would be interesting. I do not want to capture a thing. Alright. Why aren't you seeing Dave OBS? Why is OBS such a bitch? There we go. So, it's... Christ. Uh, how do I get out of here? Oh, like that. Alright. What do we need? Oh, we need to build another basic underwater rifle to upgrade it. Uh, what do we need? Red sniper rifle. Okay. Uh, hmm. Upgrade the basic rifle or upgrade the sniper rifle. Oh yeah, we need more opal to do that. And then two more giant molly friends. Ah! I'll fin you, motherfuckers. Uh, what do we got? Eh. Is it afternoon? It's afternoon. No wonder. Maybe I'll have a brownie tonight for dessert. Tastes doing pretty good. Decided to switch over. There was literally no one in the Sims stream, so I was just like, okay, well, I guess we're doing something else. <laughs> Did you want to see the Sims? Or are you just like, oh, because no one was there? Which, you know, I get. I appreciate. I was in the process of, uh, ah. Thai food is tasty. What kind of Thai food? Yellow curry, pad thai, the glorious tree. 
triumph of flavor that is uh, Tom Young Bill. Have I mentioned how much I like that soup? Because, oh my god, it's good. Jellyfishes. Ah. Well, tell them to tell them, tell them to tell you what soup they're eating. Or what food they're eating. Not soup. <laughs> I was, I have soup on the brain now. Oh. Yes, that's the sound of a baby humpback whale. Please take a look around. There must be a baby whale nearby. That sounds... Okay. It's farther down, it seems like. Yeah, now we're getting there. Aha! Ah, the crying sound coming from behind that pile of rocks. Well, the stones will need to be removed to enter. To be fair, Panda Express is pretty good. That's what, like, everyone at our college ate. Like, there was a sandwich place, something else, and there was a Panda Express, and the line for the Panda Express was always, like, out the door. Okay, once entering, an event will proceed that will end with you returning to the boat. I'm not sure if I want to do that, but I kind of want to. Okay. Barbecue place. Uh, barbecue. Yeah, some barbecue. A lot of barbecue is really expensive. <laughs> Should I go comfort it? We gotta comfort the baby. We do, we gotta comfort it. I think I'm still a bit scared. Should I pet the baby? Yes. Always pet the baby. Pet the baby. It's so cute. Look at it. Look at it. Oh my god. Oh, baby whale. One more time. Uber comfort. My secret technique. If we go to a brighter area, the mom should come, right? We need to be careful bringing him back up. Well, of course, this is where we uh, encounter five bajillion enemies. We're gonna need that, I sense. Probably 
you're supposed to use the gun. Looks a bit safer here. Wait a bit here, Mom should come. Oh, lovely! Lots of sharks! You fight them. us on the ship. Hmm, I see. I'm glad you took it to its mother. It wasn't get easy getting it out. It got so easily frightened. <laughs> Take the vegetarian. Yeah, right? <laughs> Maybe it didn't like you is all. No. Anyway, don't spend all your time hunting. Try to be more helpful. Bitch, I hate you. Damn. 
I would probably be screaming hysterically if that happened outside the sushi bar I was at. Just... <laughs> just screaming. About... about a whale. Yeah! Salt. Let's make sure we have plenty. I'll just redispatch those two for right now. Let us make sushi! Hell yeah! Oh, right! Maki's here with us now. I wonder who that's supposed to be. got the, uh, we got, uh, his picture of her, and, um, we collected some Cleone for her. She wants to be a chef, and I'm happy to indulge her. Hell yeah, cleaning. My goal is to have these people be completely, like, self-reliant at some point. Like, I mean, I've played it before, but, you know. Oh, god damn it, that's not what I wanted to do. Fuck. Fuck! I need to dispatch my people to get, uh... Some black vinegar. I haven't finished in V3. Why would you think I had? Oh fuck, I forgot. Oh god damn it. I do want to raise the quality of those, but I also need to collect a lot of them. B3. I just haven't finished it. to any of the major reveals, so. I will. I promise that I will. I will go back to Dongamrata. I kind of want to... I'm, oh, I'm tempted to serve boss meat. black vinegar. We'll have some seahorse skewers, some tiger shark. 
dark sushi. And some shikoro. And off we go. Literally Dave's occupation at this point. That's what he's doing here. can't pour tea. Fuck. Yeah, we need to get someone who can pour fucking tea, man. Tea, motherfucker, fucker, tea, motherfucker. Wow, we've been here for almost a month. Nice and crunchy with the night sea as a backdrop. You're a weird person, man. Oh, let's check our fish farm. Spend a little bit. I am? I mean, I do my best. Yeah. Uh, woo! Well, like, fish have been busy. Like, goddamn. At least we won't be short on fish. Yeah, the pace really is impossible if Dave's doing all the side work. Like, why wouldn't 
and I uh, sell farm fish instead of uh, regular if I can. You know, I need to help out my poor shark. unlock more stuff and then we need to collect more stuff for more turn. All right. We do need to expand that. Because we are, we keep running up into the limit, so. Well, we will try to get a breeding buddy for the, uh, for the tiger shark. But we're also going to try and get a uh, sail fin and wait. Yeah, uh, tomorrow we have a big marlin and sail fin event. So hopefully we can. Uh, okay, here's the plan. We're going to go down. I know, right? Like, Dave is kind of scary if you think about it. But this is really a game where characters are, where protagonists are scary sorts of people, so. But yeah, Dave is kind of terrifying if you put any amount of uh, thought into it. does and he's just really super mild mannered. Do not spray ink on me, you assholes. Yeah! Man, I want an underwater scooter so bad. They're so cool. I just I, I want to explore the ocean with an underwater scooter. Uh, though, to be fair, I think that probably they would actually still function at that depth. Hello, I already have as many of you as I need. Did I get any plant frogfish room? Shark. Yes. No, 
bad squid. I'll try to go find the Marlins. <laughs> on developing the plot today but then I was like oh yeah there's marlins to go get we have another fucking uh, marlin celebration whatever I want you and you Thank you. 
dick bucket. Come back. Okay, unfortunately that... Unfortunately, I only need this fucking thing for its fin. Fins, plural. I don't need its meat, which, you know, makes me feel bad for killing something I don't need to eat, but... I really need those fins to upgrade my guns. Giant Trevally Finn, that's something. Fuck off. Yes, I'm going. Ooh, and a tiger shark too. Hell yeah. It may seem weird that I'm getting rid of barracudas because they're good meat, but like, they're so fucking heavy, and I need to go. Need to go hunt marlins. Potak soon had time. Something went. Something came prawn. See you later. It's good seeing you, Sai. You know what would have been neat in this game? Um, uh, is if you like occasionally would see uh, the. Uh, Barracuda and whatnot going after other fish. That would have been cool. I see a shipwreck. giant trebly fin from all of that. Yes! Holy shit, you're tough! You're tougher than a tiger shark, bro. What the fuck? Is that the Mermaid Sister song? Because that is the song of my people. Kuda. I should send you the link to the uh, Mermaid Sister song at some point. I think you would enjoy it. Hmm. <laughs> and I don't want to sing it unless, like, I can remember all the lyrics. 
All right, let's try for Marlins again because we don't have a lot of choice. Also, Tiger Sharks. I did not notice if I got Tiger Shark Row, goddammit. Okay. Whoa, this is, this is different. This is very pink. My husband's yelling in the other room. This is normal. He's not like angry or violent or anything, he just likes to rant. tuna would be easier with a train though. Like, it's not my typical loadout, but they do make life a lot easier. That might be a tuna. Yep, that's, that's the end of the tuna. Ugh. Upside, maybe that means the uh, sail fin is down in its little cave. And I can go get the tiger shark, so hopefully, get some giant trebly, trebly fins, get some, get some tiger shark row. We'll, we'll have a nice little aquarium pretty soon. Nice! Like, those yellow, like, I'm torn because they, oh, they really are good, um, the 
yellowfin really are good uh, bang for your buck, as it were. Ow. Well, that was dumb. the tunas, like, they're too good to pass up just because they they sell real good Your sushi. So, like, what are you gonna do, really? that Boncho tends to make his sushi with the fish's skin still on? So, like, you'll see the stripes of the clownfish when you're eating clownfish sushi, which seems a little unsettling, if I'm honest. Down, down we go. Eee! Batfish. God damn it. Hell yeah. Boncho really is a lunatic on many levels. I cannot argue with that. I mean, he makes great sushi, though, so I can't really... And he 
has a cat. So I also can't. like labeled limestone cave in ages. Like usually there's lime <laughs> motherfucker. Usually there's limestone cave-ish places, but I haven't seen the actual like limestone cave the area in a ton of times. Appreciate bon Boncho's uh, lunacy. sushi. Yeah, that's probably not wrong. I'd like to argue with you, but... Yeah, that was sure a caps lock. <laughs> on The Sims, and then I was like, eh, I feel like Dave the Diver tonight. And thank fuck to tomorrow's Friday, goddamn. Although I need to uh, drive Setsy to Eugene in the morning.
only appear once? about oh next time i go up and i go to the fish farm i should make some notes about uh what i'm missing as far as uh breeding pairs goes because that is my goal is you know fishing sustainably type of thing Literally so overburdened, I can't carry anymore. Okay, never mind. We're, we're <laughs> you cannot carry anymore. We're going full Baldur's Gate over here. say that with like the 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 he, the he, the weight of a uh, of a destiny altering occasion you can't carry any
Yay! Let's get out of here. You know, they never explained why the blue hole is the way it is. I don't think. Like, the constantly shifting nature of it and the way it just appeared. Okay, what do we, what do we collect? Yay, we got some long fit bat fish row. Yay! Ooh, we got some angler fish. We got some like two reef shark row, which is good. That's what I well, that's what I was hoping to get. Looks like we did not get a giant trophy fin, which is eh, annoying. You guys could have given me some fucking fins! <laughs> when we get back to the sushi restaurant, I'll dispatch them for black vinegar. Uh, I really got. Hope I got tiger shark bro. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sorry. Uh, give me more flame! Anyway. He's best at procurement, oddly enough. Here. I've never done an internet ad, but I want to see who is available to hire. Oh, I need to hit the back. Be right back. I'm back. <laughs> All right. I need to collect a few sharks because uh, we need 51 meat to upgrade. So many things that great. <laughs> Amusingly, the green parrot fish is some of our better sushi.
had more red mullet than that, if I'm honest. The nice thing about that fish farm is that we really have a consistent source of ingredients now, so I can focus more on other things. You know what I mean? Like, we may as well serve expensive shit, you know? just Dave serving the drinks here. <laughs> figured out to just focus on literally the only thing I need to do, you know? First time with some free time for a while. Bullshit! You are constantly on free time, asshole. This 
this harpoon's been okay enough so far. Alright, that's the best. For our current situation, that's our best bet. Oh, wait. Gotta go to the fish farm. I almost forgot. I think uh, the clownfish thing worked out. Tiger shark. That's very annoying. At least we have enough clam frog fish. Some of the fish we could just uh, sell, but I'm like, why would I do that? To do the party. Me Marlins. Apparently the chocolate brownies I have are award winning. Which I actually agree with. Like these are really good brownies. There's not even a hint of like herbalness. Which you'd normally expect. And like what little herbalness there is actually pairs pretty well with the chocolate. We must retrieve the foods. I forgot to dispatch the other two. God damn it. Ugh, out of sight, out of mind, I guess. I I completely forgot to uh, take notes about what kind of fish I have. That's a 
struggle with because I have bigger problems. I look fine. Whatever. Coral thingies. Obviously, I am I am a very intense fish scientist. Who knows all about the fish? You can tell because my extreme familiarity with all their, you know, taxonomic classifications. I don't need you. Please leave me alone. Yes, exactly like that. Good job. Leave me alone. Hello, you weird little shrimp. Okay. Time to see if we can nab a sailfish. Tonight's pace is gonna be fucking brutal. Bitch, I hear you! shark and that makes me mad that's the short short version of what I'm trying to say but at least I got the sailfin maybe I even got sailfin row if I didn't I'll have to keep coming down here for a while until I get it god this is therapeutic I love playing this game it's just Oh, it's so chill. When I want something more intense, I can... God damn. We got a barracuda. We got a saw mouth. Whatever. We didn't get a tiger shirt. his fin. I have no idea if he cut off his fin. I mean, technically, sure, I could check. Like a loser. Oh, wow, I almost swam right into that pumper fish. Tiger 
Dr. Sharkini Bullets.
All right, well, I guess we're going in with our shark harpoon. Wish me luck. Thank God I have a healing, but... Oh, right, of course. Of course. Natch. Yeah, there you are. Peter is not a fan of doing this all of the sudden, apparently. Ah! Barracuda! Barracuda! Oh, you and your cargo awareness. Well, it is true that I'm tooting for a bit, so... I'll go pick on this shark. Well, I'll go pick on this shark. Fill out the last of it. fish for the uh, party this time. <laughs> creature though. Hmm. I swear I'd already caught those. Was I losing my mind? All right. Last Marlin focus dive. And we're going to do plot. Copper shark. Copper sharks are actually quite pretty. Just be asking for trouble. 
generally what I tote is better than what the water has to offer. Also, I have learned that, uh, God damn it. Fine. Get that fucking fossil, god damn. Um, I totally forgot what I was going to say. The funny thing is I'm not even high right now. I'm just kind of like this all the time. how cute sharks are. They're some of the most adorable creatures in the ocean. I may have very specific tastes when I say that, but still. I think that's true. Faces change down in the loading screen. Also, I'm glad I got OBS finally working consistently with my setup. <gasps> I hear the sailfish!
Like you can distill salt from the ocean. So you'd think, you'd think there'd be more salt available. But there is not. Salima Porgy. Grayish blue body, horizontal stripes to be connected, yellow or gray spots in the center, blah 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 blah. The text is going too fast. Traveling might be the one. out of any of it? No. Of course I didn't. on these damn fish and nothing. No fin. Because they're not just a fish, they're a fish. Give me your fin!
Did you give me a pin? No? Fuck you! Go away. Barracuda. killed me but we got the fish We may have a breeding pair of marlins going forward. <laughs> Alright. Oh, that's interesting. El Nino, huh? It didn't say El Nino. Peace, I'll leave him alone. He's not doing anything to you. Huh. It's a pufferfish terrine. That's bizarre. Incidentally, a terrain is kind of another uh, 
it, 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 it's, it's a lot like Aspic. It's just, you know, it has a better reputation because it sounds more gourmet. Upgrade it once more. Diesel, will you please leave people alone? What did he ever do to you? Huh? God damn. That's some high quality travelling. Travelling. Whatever it is. I hope everyone's enjoying my suffering and, uh, as I over and over try to attempt to uh, pronounce the word trebly. Well, at least I got to upgrade my great barracuda meat. And clam frogfish. This is the beauty of sustainable fishing. Really, like, I literally just have to wait to get more uh, fish. Alright. So, we learned a recipe. Do we not have the ship? Oh, oh, we need southern bull kelp, which is all, which is in the glacial area. There's, there was no way we were, we were going to make that or anything from the vegetable farm. So, some of these we just have to wait for the vegetable farm, man. Which sucks, but you know, that is what it is. All right. We're just gonna, like, we're just gonna have 15 of the two dishes that they want. And then fill out the, uh, menu with miscellaneous crapola. We won't get that many people enough to eat all of it, so I probably wasted a bunch of stuff, but... Eh. Okay, get ready, people. day. 
Oh my god. I bet we could get it there if we upgrade those rolling dishes. Well, let's go. Let's check out our friend. We can finally do the plot now! There's not a party coming! Ugh! That's a lot of sharks in there. Yeah, we have five sharks currently in our aquarium. I know it's not an aquarium, it's a fish farm. You get my meaning. Short and clown frog, clown frog fish. Oh my god, do I finally have- I do! Get a uh, food gasm from Boncho's cooking.
Replacing Billy. When do you get your second skill, bro? now. This is actually a really pretty motif. I'm gonna go with it. I know it's expensive, I don't care. Oh right, I was going to send our staff out to... Uh, get black vinegar. Ooh. use more black. 
looks like we have another uh, recipe that calls for it. So. What a good kitty. Lobo looks pleased. He's usually fickle, but he seems to like me. But... What? Something wrong? He disappears every night. Hmm, I see. Maybe he made a new friend. I don't know. Let me know if you see Lobo at night. And, uh, you know, the whole giant trebly thing, I'm going to have to do all over again, too. Once I'm done, to upgrade my other shit. We got the platinum trophy, all thanks to all of you. Everyone at the party looked gorgeous. Let's wear matching outfits to the next party. You're not going to cough. Fine, whatever. People. People be people. People be people. It's time to dive into the blue hole. Finally. Our main goal today is to advance the plot. We will not be distracted by nonsense. I say, hopefully... Perhaps naively? Ooh, we need more of you, actually. Hey, bitch, where are you going? Keep an eye out for Mediterranean parrotfish, actually, when I think about it. Shrimpies. You're not shrimpies, you're a grouper. too warm. <sighs> the problem with a hysterectomy is, uh, you know, you very logically go into menopause. I hear sailfish! I hear you, buddy! 
Give me your row. I promise I really am going to, uh... Coming up burp today. The game clearly thinks I should be down in the glacial area by now, but I'm still fucking around up in uh up in these reaches. <laughs> check to see if I uh, got Tiger Shark Row 2. I didn't see. I definitely caught the announcement of Sailfish Row, though. Oh, I'm so happy. Didn't I? I swear I heard it. Well, it's not like I'll uh, see it until we get back anyway. I do appreciate that they're uh, giving me bullets and oxygen after uh, fighting a shark. Of course, these days I can handle the uh, tiger shark, no problem. into the temptation of fighting more trebly to try and get their fins. We're just, just gonna move on for right now. I'll upgrade my gun. Stargazer. Thank you. 
Another pile of rocks is around. This is the first rock pile. And this up here is the second rock pile. Oh my god, I'm so fucking stupid. did not even occur to me to go this direction. And I think 
think I might have still gone the wrong direction, but at least then I have the general idea. I don't need one of those. Somewhere top right from where I currently am. So I should have to go through here to get to wherever those rocks open up. But somehow I'm not seeing it. Motherfucker. Finally. Uh. Oh my god, we progressed the plot. than you look. The village is very close. Come and do the hole you just made. I'll go ahead. Besides, I have a request for you, so I'd like you to come to the village with us. You see me from the village? Me? Yes. There's a reason I came all the way up to the human sea. I have a request. Oh, okay. Let's go see the Sea People Village, shall we? Now that I'm s I've stopped being dumb for five seconds. Oh, are they already gone? They have already left. Okay, well. might be a boss fight down here that I'm forgetting. Oh. Ugh. I'm getting really, real spooky vibes. Oh yeah, the wolf heel. Does something just move past me? Human, go be our lookout. But it's so dark. I feel like there might be something dangerous there. Uh, we 
we better get some oxygen first, I think. There's oxygen somewhere around. There's not. Okay, well, off we go then. Whee! Yeah, yeah, may as well. I really wish I'd gone here with full health. What is this? Why is there debris like this so deep? Because we're gonna have to hold on to it. I kinda remember this. Someone has to be here. Something has to be here. Why did he tell me to come alone? Ugh, how can a wolf eel be so big? Uh, I was just about to come and defeat it. I guess I came too late. <laughs> You're stronger than I expected, human. Now you see that big gate over there? That's the entrance to the village. Take a look at human. Okay, but first I need to uh, harvest ingredients. Surprisingly light. Alright, I'm 
taking the lead. Phew, we're finally back to the village entrance passageway. Rama, you have a key, right? Oh no, I left the key back at the... <laughs> Just kidding, I have it here in my bag. Ugh, I thought you would ask me to take you again. Let's insert the key and get back to the village. some reason has waterfalls in the ocean. Is it denser water? At this depth? Wow, so this is... Haha, <laughs> that's right. This is the sea people village we live in. To think there would be a place like this under the sea. Wait! How did a human get in here? Huh? Rambo and Sweat? Are you kidnapped by this human? Um, Tenzin, Tenjin awaits you. He's lost sleep worrying about you. Oh, it's kind of hard to explain. <laughs> Allow me. I rescued Rama after she was kidnapped by a squid. Forget it. Just take me to my father. It'll be faster for me to explain things to him. Um, it's a good thing I don't run out of oxygen in here. Otherwise, I'd be fucked. There ended up being a lot of cutscenes. I was actually thinking of going once, uh, once this, uh... Creatures looking to hunt us and steal from us. We can't ally with the likes of. Wait, I did 
travel all the way back with how weighed down I am. during the day, right? I should go tomorrow. Oh no, look at the time. Pancho Sushi must have opened already. I should drop by and check if anything of note happened. No! I want to go offline! Mm. Oh, okay. Looks like I arrived too late. I should do a little cleanup. Oh, my work just ended just now, and I was passing by. I saw the lights were on, despite the hour. Boncho seems to have gone home already. He looked tired recently. I'm worried he might fall ill. <laughs> Even so, I'm glad to see him working so hard again like this. Oh, come to think of it, I heard he once gave up on cooking because of a certain incident. Yes, back then I thought he was going for good. I wonder what it was about. Oh god, we're gonna have to do a cutscene before I can go. Come in. I simply avoided mentioning it with him present just in case it's still a sore spot for Boncho. Mm. Thirsty. Can you first give me a glass of beer? Uh, sure. Oh, apparently I don't have to get the beer. Okay, okay. No, I can't leave! Dang it. <sighs> Nothing so refreshing as a glass of beer after work. It's especially nice to have a view of the sea at night as if like this is a drink of mm. I'll tell you right, I'll tell you now a bit about Boncho and why he quit cooking for a while. It was twelve years ago. It was twelve years ago. That's eighteen years ago. This is the Dugong Hotel. I worked here twelve years ago. It's a five-star hotel with both tradition and a long history. It looks a bit old, yes, but at the time the quality of the food and surface had been newly improved. Yoshi, do you have a moment? What is it, manager? Well, a troublesome customer left a reservation. A troublesome customer? You know the actress, Lois Crawford? She made a reservation at our hotel. Lois Crawford. She was a leading actress with a long career. Her role as a spy is one of, in one of her most favorite 
famous works, the 42nd floor was extremely impressive. She appears to hit a slight slump as her new movies haven't been doing very well. The manager spent his entire life at the hotel. It was like he was a living embodiment of its history. He has a lot of knowledge of, about the etiquette used by the upper class of each country, and he was very used to servicing those of high rank. Many VIPs thought of Sergeant's services. Our Dugong Hotel is a luxury hotel with many years of history and tradition. In the past, we had nobles staying in our accommodations, and many notable films were shot here. Many people seeking that sort of old air and nostalgia used our services, and we had a very high standard for the services we provided. I've heard that Lois Crawford can be very picky, but we are a very high quality hotel with history and tradition on our side. I don't think there will be any issue if she comes. <laughs> so there it is. Nobody can beat the level of services and staff at this hotel. We won many prizes as well. Just one thing. You haven't heard the rumors about her, have you? The rumors? Take a look at this. This is... She's famous not only as a chef, but a gourmet. That's a blurb she published in a travel magazine recently. It appears to be a description of her travels, but it's just her bashing on the hotel she stayed at. Gloria hotels are the best of the best, and yet she wrote such a scathing review. Bringing out the bad does make a person look more professional. Her writing is mostly like this. What do you suggest we do, Yoshi? I suppose we can't refuse a reservation if only for the hotel's reputation's sake. In that case, we'll have to think about how we'll serve her. We'll take the reservation, but we also need to think of ways to satisfy her. I suppose you're right. Do you have any ideas, Yoshi? Our hotel's strengths are a long history and tradition as well as our high quality service. The way we can satisfy her will involve making good use of these things. Did she reserve a suite? Yes, it's a suite. We'll need to clean rooms and services that match her taste. We'll treat her as a VIP. I'll look into the drinks and amenities she prefers and place them, as I also check on the state of the rooms. And about who will receive her? I suppose I'll have to do that. I suppose I'll have to Thank you. There's no one that can handle such a tricky customer except you with your long experience with many VIPs. I'm more tense than usual. And about the meals, we can offer her the buffet for breakfast, but we'll also need to ready a dinner for us. The dinner's at our hotel. Our hotel provides Italian food like a bistro, and in an a la carte style, we serve pasta and pizza with a simple wine. The chef learned to cook in Naples. The chef learned to cook in Naples, and his margarita pizza was good, but didn't really go well with the dinner course. Dugong Hotel's Japanese food has never been its strong suit. We only served udon or simple donburi. We've been making exponential progress, however, after we hired Bancho. We grow quite dramatic. Boncho was famous for his ability to reinterpret the use of ingredients, and his food was recently featured in an overseas magazine. He might be our dark horse. That means the Japanese is likely uh, to be our best choice. Boncho hasn't really proven himself yet. Do you think it'll be alright? Boncho's skill is indisputable. However, our, great, our one great drawback is that he doesn't consider the preferences of his customers. His sole focus is in letting people try new flavors. That is what drives his creativity, of course, but this time it won't really serve us. We're dealing with the infamous Lois Crawford, after all. I see. That's a good point. However, I think the best we can do right now is, tr is try and persuade Bancho. I agree. Best of luck, Yoshie. Bancho, are you here? Miss Yoshi. Miss Yoshi, what are you doing? Oh, you're here. That's good. I've come to check on the status of the manager's request. Look all you want. It's just an ordinary Japanese food kitchen. Mancho is a peculiar man. He suddenly appeared one day, handing us a resume and explaining he'd been learning in Japan. All the sushi establishments listed on the resume were top tier, but Mancho never stayed in one place for long. He told me that he moved on each time after learning enough. The manager had a long talk with him and then left the operation of the Japanese food team to him. He could always be found in the kitchen busy with something, day in and day out. He researched food on his own when there were no customers. He hated to be interrupted. Were you practicing? Well, yes. Training means 
thousands and tens of thousands of attempts. Practice without rest is the only way to produce meaningful results. I see. I heard that you never skip research and practice, Pancho. It relieves me to see you so hard at work. What do you mean you're relieved? Pancho, would you willing, be willing to try servicing a VIP? Servicing a VIP? That's right. We have an important guest who will increase our reputation. Rather, who might send it plummeting to the ground. Her name is Lois Crawford. She's an actress that's infamously hard to breathe. Please, and also a gourmet reviewer. The thing about this, though, like, you'd think she, if she published almost entirely a negative reviews of demonstrably top tier places she'd actually uh, lose reputation which might be why her uh, movies are tanking more recently Understand. Oh, 
go with shrimp tempura then, though it can compare to shark. This bitch! This way, Miss Crawford. Thank you. This is the chef who will be preparing your food today, Miss Cr uh, Boncho. He's younger than I expected. I was hoping for a slightly more experienced chef. Oh my, tight left, are we? Perhaps my look leave you, leave you up. My looks leave you at a loss for words. <laughs> he seems a little tense. He's quite a skilled chef, I assure you. To the food, then. I remember the service here being quite alright for an old hotel. I like the carpet and the paintings on the walls as well. Furnishings of Gloria Hotel have a kitsch quality to them that I don't like. But to think there's no gym, that's a bit of a shocker. I need to exercise daily to maintain my figure. It was our intention that your stay be as restful as possible. Everyone has their preferred way of resting. Facilities were good, so I'll content myself with that. So what's for dinner? A Japanese course meal. Here's the course menu. The first dishes are... This is a steam dish composed of grilled snapper and roe, which was then steamed garnished with ground yam. The soup features the rich flavor of fish. Bland flavor coupled with a spicy scent. Quite interesting. This is the flavor of the shichibi. There's a tiny bit of flavoring provided by a condiment made from seven different spices. The next dish is. So, I'm sure our food is better than that of most other restaurants. The snapper soup or something was pretty interesting, but that's it. It was just a fishy soup with a spicy aftertaste. To think you added sticky yam on top. Ugh, I didn't really like the texture. Oh dear, it seems that Japanese food isn't all that to your liking. Ignorant of that fact, we served you Japanese. My mistake, please accept my apologies. Whatever. It wasn't that good, but it was healthy at least. This hotel doesn't even have a gym, so I suppose the food should be healthy at the very least. <laughs> May I have a word? Boncho, allow me to introduce myself again. I am the master chef who works here, Boncho. I am not much of a speaker, so I've been listening quietly. I find it impossible to maintain my silence now, however. You're supposed to have better food than anywhere else, right? No, no, Boncho. Miss Lois here is just... It is most definitely my fault for failing to provide food that satisfies you. Will you not give me a chance to make up for my mistake? What? Oh, well, gosh. I'm a very busy woman. What you have witnessed today aren't my real skills. A certain food that can objectively be called good. Boncho, you can't be talking about... Saying you have something else you think will satisfy me? Alright, I'll wait. But remember, my time is valuable. Your food had better be amazing. Boncho, you can't be thinking of. What is it, Miss Yoshi? Is there something I'm missing? All done. This is whole roasted shark head. Oh my god! That's a... You fried the whole head? It is an amazing dish. The meat in the cheeks hasn't been cut out. I chose to fry the head whole to pre preserve the subtle texture. You'll never taste any something like this anywhere else. 
It is a high quality dish made from the best possible ingredients. Get them out of my sight. How can you call this food? What are you saying? Just take a bite. I'm not happy about this. Is this what service is like at the Dugong Hotel? It's all my fault. I apologize. Now, don't show Yoshie. You apologize as well. I'm sorry, Miss Lewis. I should have been more vigilant. Looks are not all there is to food. Why do you refuse to even try it, Miss Lewis? Don't show. Now it seems to I find this highly unpleasant. Is this some kind of camera prank or punishment? You'll pay for treating me this way. Don't think I'll let you get away with it. I'm leaving. Cancel my sweet. Charge me a cancellation fee with if you wish. I don't care. She should have just eaten the shark. God damn it, went all the way to 1030. Well, I have to get up early. After that, Poncho put his job at the hotel and left, saying he needed to train. It's my belief that it wasn't so much the cooking itself as the ingredients and cooking methods that he researched. Mm. I see. Still, I admire him a little for not giving up on the belief that he's going on the right Don't path. Matter. I suppose it was the stubborn side of him that allowed him to attain his current level of skill. Mm. Working with you. Now, he's even started social media. Somebody. I feel something has changed in him, and I like it. No, that's you. I think you're good for him. Please continue to get him. I'll do my best to help Boncho focus on his cooking. Oh my god, can I quit now? That was so long. Oh, between the sea people and the conversation. Oh my god! Oh, Dave, you weren't around yesterday, so I was a bit worried. I couldn't get in touch with you by via radio either. I was at the Sea People Village yesterday. You what? What happened? Well, you see. Kill me. That was a pretty funny description of Swam. I see, I envy you, I do. Well, lucky experience. I'm not sure how I can help, but it's clear they have problems to deal with. Why don't you go talk with the residents first? I'd love to go as well, but as you said, only one person can use the sea people mirror. What a pity. <laughs> what an unexpected turn of events. If you need any of my jewels, don't forget to check out the Cobra shop. Yes, I'll have to use the sea people mirror first to visit their village. I swear to God, if one more person comes up to me, I'm setting this everything on fire. Okay. God fucking damn. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, it was just email. Shark storm party. Okay. I don't mind a storm of sharks. Oh my god, I finally have enough to grade. Apparently we haven't seen this one yet. to get three more trebly fins and more gold. <sighs> we also offer deep fried fish sushi. Please come by. Let me get rid of this stuff. I got a cookie cutter shark. I'm so excited. Uh, we got a crown seahorse. All right. Got to turn in some stuff for Eco Watcher. I'm 
going to worry about what we need another time. Uh, thank you for joining me. I need to go get myself sorted out and get ready to go to get ready for a long drive very early tomorrow morning. Uh, I will see you in the next stream. Have a lovely evening.